Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, if you want, have a block handy just in case uh, we need that uh, throughout the class today. Hope you're feeling well. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a, a bouncy class today. So we'll see if we can get into our bodies by bouncing and trying to warm up the fashion and just get everything moving. So let's start in a wide leg child's pose. Big toes touching, knees open wide. We have kind of uh, worked through these things before, but see how it feels today. See how you need to adjust and adapt today. So once you get into that wide leg child's pose, you can rest your forehead on the floor. You can let your elbows rest on the floor. And just let your breath flow. Remembering the most important part of your practice is that you're bringing your, in, your awareness inwards, that you're taking time to stop all the thoughts racing everywhere and you're trying to bring your awareness inwards. Whether you do that through, through the breath or through the sensations in the body or maybe all of it. You're taking this hour to settle and to work on yourself, making yourself strong for the day ahead. So take one more breath, reaching the hands as far forwards as you can now. Feels so nice just to stretch through the arms, the armpits. And the chest. We'll take a twist. So you can lift yourself up a little bit. Slide your right arm underneath you towards the left side. And then reach the left fingers to the top of the mat. You can push down into the back of the right arm and then try and find that twist there. You can take your left arm up to the sky. And then just wrap the left fingers around the right thigh or around about there. And just open up that left shoulder. Now see if you can close that off and then open it again. So you'll roll your left shoulder towards your right arm. And then you'll roll the left shoulder all the way back. So try that a few times, just rolling the shoulder forwards and then rolling it over. Maybe find a little bit more space each time. Last time. Good. All right, then release, taking your left arm out and your right arm out. We'll change sides. So now left arm underneath you towards the right side. That might feel a little bit stiff now. Right fingers to the top of the mat. You can take your right arm up to the sky, wrap it around your left thigh. And again, letting your right shoulder fall towards the left arm and then rotating it back open. And it might not go that far. You're not trying to push or, or go to any particular place. You're just exploring. Last time, rolling the right shoulder to the left arm and then peeling it back open. And then release, take your right arm back out, left arm back out. And one last stretch, reaching the hands forward. And walking your hands back to your knees. My hips feeling that. <laughs> Bring your knees together. Have your feet together and now just lay over the legs. Forehead down towards the mat. And you might not get there yet. You might, uh, the forehead might not get on the floor yet. It might feel a little bit tight in your hips. So maybe just close your eyes and try and breathe softness, lightness into those hips. Before we come out of this, um, of, the, of this child's pose, walk your hands over to the right hand side, go as far over as feels good here. 
Now, if you really push down to your left hand, you can try and lift your left shoulder up, looking underneath the left shoulder, and then press the left shoulder back down. So you're just doing that a few times. Searching for space. And then walking the hands over to the other side. <laughs> Everything's creaking. Her right hand pressing down into the mat. You don't want to go too far over. But you're going to look underneath your right shoulder and then let the right shoulder drop back down. So maybe you can feel whatever you've been doing the last few days here in that right side. I certainly can. And then walk your hands back to the center of the mat. This is going to feel nice now. Come up onto all fours. <laughs> and then start to rock forwards and back. So the hips would be quite tightly compressed there. So hopefully this will feel nice. Not only think about the wrists, but think about the hip flexors. So every time you rock forwards, Maybe the thighs can get a little bit closer towards the floor, counterposing the long holds in your child's pose. Be mindful of the back. Now don't overarch your back just yet. Or don't go too far with it just yet. All right, so now bring your big toes to touch and knees open again, like we did at the beginning, and now draw big circles here. Feels that there's a, it's a different feeling with the knees open and the big toes touching. How is it feeling through the spine? How is it feeling through the hands and through the hips? And then take the circle the other way. And I'm clicking all over the place. <laughs> okay, we're going to bring the knees together. Turn the fingers towards your knees, the palms flat on the floor. And don't worry if the fingers aren't all the way around. Yeah, they don't need to get all the way around, just the way you feel the stretch. And we're going to let the belly sink and lift the head, chest up. And push away and round into the back. Then the belly sink, lifting the head, chest up. And then pushing away right into the back. Last time, so let the belly sink, lifting the head, chest up. And then push away and round into the back. Come back to neutral. Mm -hmm. Tuck your toes under. Let's wake up the feet a little bit. And then sit onto your heels. Now, if you want, get that block and place it on top of the heels and then just pop your bum onto the block. So it's quite a nice way to feel the weight evenly distributed through the baby toes and the big toes. Taking your arms out in front, interlace the fingers, turn the palms away, and then round into your back as you bring your chin to your chest. So you're tucking your tail under here and then tilting the pelvis forward to lift the head chest up. And again, exhale, round into the back, chin to chest, push the hands away. And then inhale, lift the arms up, tilt the pelvis forward. Last time, rounding into the back, chin to your chest. From here, just swing the arms over towards the right side. Bring them up to the sky. Take them over towards the left side. And then round into the back. We're going to take it back over to the left, bring it up to the sky, <laughs> take it over to the right, and then round into the back. Lifting the arms all the way up, releasing the hands, start to pulse the fingers into the palms of the hands. I know your arms are already aching, but see if you can hold them here for a little bit more. Maybe if we make the arms ache enough, then you won't feel your feet so much. 
but keep it going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, keep it going, and 1, well done, shake it out. All right, you can take the block away, you can come onto all fours and give the feet a little slap if they need it on the floor. And we're going to take your right leg back and press the toes into the floor there. How's that feel through the calf? You're going to start to rock forwards and back here. So make the right foot be the instigator of this rocking forwards and back. You should feel the core as well. So you're drawing your belly button back, keeping your back nice and stiff. You can also draw little circles here. Yeah, so weight to, taking the weight through the fingertips, heels of the hands, and then taking it the other way. So you're really getting into that ankle and that calf. Lifting your right leg up to the sky now. Try not to let your belly sink. Try not to let your back arch. I'm going to do a little pulsing here. We are pulsing the leg higher every time rather than lower. But don't go higher and then get an arch in your back. So keep that belly supporting your back. Yes, you're going to bend the right leg, heel to the bum, and continue to pulse. Try and make the pulsing happen from your glute and from your hamstring. Yeah, <laughs> imagine you've got a plate on the sole of your right foot there. Then you can bring the heel into the bum and draw a big circle with the right knee. And then a big circle with the left knee. Oh, sorry, <laughs> take a big circle the other way. Good. Bring your right knee to your right wrist. Right foot towards the left wrist and we slide the back leg away. Hands either side of the mat. I love this. So push down through the fingertips, lift up nice and tall. And as you exhale, lower down, tummy, chest, head. The arms supporting you. The hands are going to stay there as you roll your way up. Chin to chest. And again, elbows bend, lower down, so mobilizing the spine. Chin to chest, roll your way back up. And then last time, lower yourself down. And then chin to chest and roll your way up. Good. Hands flat onto the mat. Tuck your back toes and let's swap your right foot inside your right thumb. You know, same height in the lunge moment, just rocking forwards and back. You could try and do little circles as well. Here, yeah, see how that goes. The circles the other way. And then we lower the left knee to the floor. Good. Draw your head chest forward, sink your right hip back. How does that feel for you today? I'm going to take the right hand inside the right foot, just heel to the right foot over a little bit, and then turn the right foot onto its side. You know, sway from side to side. See how that feels for you. If it's too much, stay in stillness, okay? You can place your right hand on the inside of your right leg. Try and push that right leg away. Now, as you uh, exhale, you're going to draw your knee into your chest and round into your back and then press the right leg away. And again, round into the back, bring the knee into the chest, and then press the right leg away. Last time, draw the knee into the chest, round into the back, and then press the right knee away. Right hand onto the floor, bring your right foot flat, and now come back onto your left knee and draw the right toes up to your face. So you are on a little diagonal here. You have that right leg is slightly out to the side. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, fold over the leg. And try cat cows. Inhale, lift the head, chest up. Exhale, round into the back. And again, inhale, draw the head, chest forward. And then exhale and round into the back. Last time, inhale, head, chest forwards. 
and then exhale, round into the back. Inhale, lift the head, chest up, and we take the right hand outside of the right foot. You can bring your right foot more into the center of the mat and catch hold of your block. You could tuck your left toes under if, this, if that helped. You can stay as you are right here, or you can sit down onto your left heel and bring your right sit bone onto the block. Otherwise, stay where you were. Inhale, lift the head, chest up. Exhale and fold over the right leg, just listening to whatever that the right leg is telling you here. Take one more breath. It's quite a nice place to hang out. But of course, if it's too much, then you will stay at the stage before. Good. Okay, we're going to step back onto that right leg. Take the block off to one side and tuck the back toes, lift your back knee, take your right foot to the back and lift the hips up into your down dog. How's that right leg feel compared to the left? Have a little wiggle, just play with that, feel it out. And then we'll lower the knees to the floor, making the other side feel wonderful. Take your left leg back, press the toes into the floor, and you can rock forwards and back. So just starting to bring that awareness to your left ankle. Core is strong. Remember now we can also do little circles. See how that feels, rolling through the ankle, and then take the circles the other way. That's it, good, and then core is strong, as in that you're bringing your belly button back, trying to engage the muscles, lift your left leg up, and then pulse it. So trying to pulse higher rather than letting the leg drop lower. Think about that left hamstring now and left glute. And then you can bend the left leg, sole of the foot to the sky, like you've got a plate on the sole of your foot, and then pulse the leg up. Hamstring glutes working. You also have that right leg, that right outer thigh is supporting everything. Then we can draw a big circle with that left leg. And that's it, and then taking the circle the other way. That's it for me, I'm looking after this left hip. Something's going on with it, so if you have anything like that, so you're just being mindful when you get to those areas. It's a left knee to your left wrist, left foot towards the right wrist. Just slide the back leg away. How's that feel now in your left hip? Yeah, in the front of the right leg. Hands like tents either side of this uh, left knee. Lift the head, chest up, and the elbows bend. Lower down, tummy, chest, head. Chin to chest as you roll back up. And again, elbows bend, lower down. And chin to chest, roll back up. Last time, elbows bend, lower down. Fingertips strong as you lift yourself back up. Good, palms flat, tuck your back toes under, and then slot your left foot inside the left hand. Before we go anywhere, just rock forwards and back. You can also do little circles here. And then taking the circles the other way. And then lower your right knee to the floor, release the right toes. So I like to be on my fingertips here and think about sending my chest past my knees. So that's that's the direction I'm, I'm trying to go. Thinking right thigh, pressing down towards the floor and enjoying the stretch there in the left hip. I'm gonna take the left hand inside your left, left foot, heel to the foot out to the side, and then turn your left foot onto its side, draw your chest forwards, and you can sway. I'm being much more mindful on this side. 
just in case. <laughs> And then you can place your left hand inside the left leg. As you exhale, draw the knee into the chest. You want to round into your back here. And then press the knee away and draw your chest forwards. Yeah, and again, exhale. Push down through your right hand to round into the back. And then push the leg away and draw your chest forwards. Okay, last time. Push down through the right hand, round into the back. And then push the leg away and draw the chest forwards. Excellent, guys. Good. All right, coming back, you can have your foot flat now. And it is on a diagonal, isn't it? It's slightly out towards the left side. So you'll come back onto your right knee and then left toes to the face. Welcome to your left hamstring. Inhale, chest forwards. Exhale, and fold over the leg. And again, inhale, chest forwards. Okay, now exhale, try your angry, angry cat, round into the back, chin to chest. Inhale, draw the head, chest forwards. And again, exhale, pushing down to the heel, round into the back. Last time, inhale, draw the head, chest forwards. And then exhale, round into the back, chin to your chest. Inhale, lift the head, chest up. You can take your left hand outside the left foot, slide the left foot more into the center of the mat. Now you're good, right here. Otherwise, you can take a block down by your right foot. And you can sit back onto your right heel, pop your left sit bone onto the block. Inhale, lifting up tall, and then exhale, and we're folding over this left leg. <laughs> notice what you notice. Breathe into it. Let's try not to be attached to what, where you think you should be and just be where you are right now. I'm saying that to myself more than anything, I think, <laughs> because it doesn't feel nice today. All right, guys. So we can step back onto this left foot. Just take the block to one side. Lifting the back knee up off the floor and then taking your front foot to the back. You come into your downward facing dog. Lift the hips up. And then how does it feel now? That hopefully both legs are becoming the same, you know, the same energy, the same awareness. Take three breaths in your downward dog. Your long breath in through the nose. And long breath out through the nose. Okay, so long breath in. All the blood rushing to your head now. And long breath out. Let's have a downward dog shape that's changing. One more breath. Yeah, lower your knees to the floor for a moment, just to let the blood flow back into your head. <laughs> Sit onto your heels with your toes tucked under. Take your right hand behind you. Swing your left arm up and over your head. Push your hips forwards. Feel the stretch all through that left side. Sit the bum back down and then coming back up. Take your left hand behind you, right arm up and over your head. Push the hips forwards, feel the stretch all through the right side. And then sitting your bum back down onto your heels, making your way back and back onto your all fours and hips up into your downward facing dog. Then swing your right leg up to the sky, have your toes pointing down, do a little pulse of the leg up, up, up. The nice little pulses. Like you did earlier, bend the knee and then pulse the heel up to the sky. Try and keep that knee pointing downwards. 
Bend the knee and bring the heel into the bum so you can draw a big circle with the right leg. And then take the circle the other way. All right, gonna start to feel it now. So bring your right knee into your nose, your right foot next to your right thumb. Come, come up into your high lunge. So now once you get there, you can bend the left leg and we're gonna bounce here. Nice little bounces. Feel the front of that leg by your left hip. You feel your right hamstring as well. We push down through that right heel. And now bring your hands, heart center. Lean over your right leg and lift your left leg up to the sky. And a few little pulses here. Good. And then lower your left foot next to your right. And we fold over, feeling that strength through the right leg, relax your hip. And slowly start to roll your way up, chin to chest. Last thing to come up is the head. Press your palms together, lift your arms up. And then exhale, fold and hinge from the hips. Inhale, lift the head and chest up. As you exhale, you jump back into a plank. You can step back into a plank. And we'll take the hips straight up and back into your downward facing dog. There's enough going on. Breathe in, lift the hips up. Breathe out, squeeze the heels down. Swing the left leg up to the sky. And then little pulses here. Hamstrings, glute working, and also again that extra stretch down the right leg. Then try bending the leg, sole of the foot towards the sky, and pulsing the leg up. Good. Now bring the heel into the bum, draw a big circle with that left knee. Take the circle the other way. Hopefully that feels nice. How is it feeling? Bring your left knee into your nose, left foot inside the left hand. Here we go, come up into that high lunge. Legs are already awake. Okay, so you're gonna bend the right leg, tuck your tail, you can do little pulses here. Feel the hamstring of the right, uh, left leg. Yes, yeah, so push down into that heel. Good, nice there, bringing your hands heart center, you can straighten into that back leg. Take your body over your left leg and then lift your right leg up and see if you can do a few pulses here. I know it's challenging, that left leg really working to support you. Lower your right foot next to your left, fold over your legs, relax, especially the back of the neck. And then roll your way up, chin to chest. Last thing to come up is the head. Arms together, lift the arms up. And then exhale, fold and hinge. Inhale, lift the head, chest up. And then exhale, you can jump back or step back, find your plank pose. And we go straight up into that downward facing dog. Lift the hips up. Nice big breath in. And a long breath out. Keep lifting the hips up as you press your hands down. Awesome, guys. Swing your right leg up to the sky. Now bend your knee, open up the hip. Bring your right foot next to your left thumb so you want to wiggle it all the way over. Slide your left leg back towards the back of the mat a bit. Now drop the back heel down 45 and keep your chest forward. And then reach your left arm towards the front of the mat. Okay, push down through your right hand and turn the chest towards the left side. And then close the chest back off so you're dropping that left shoulder down again. And again, try and turn the chest towards the left side and then close it off again. Last time, turn the chest towards the sky. Take your left arm up to the sky, look down, and then come up into a warrior two. <laughs> Flip the front palm, reach it forward, take it back, breathe into the right side. 
And then big circle, right hand comes down, big circle, left hand comes down, and then front foot to the back, find your plank. Do a vinyasa if you want. So you can elbows to bend. Push down to come up, cobra up dog, and then take it up and back into your downward facing dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. All right, guys, left leg up to the sky. Bend the knee, open up your hip. You can bring your left foot next to your right thumb. Slide your right leg back a bit. That's it, and then drop the back heel 45. Now you can have a block underneath this left hand if you need, but reach your right fingers to the front of the mat. Now go between opening and closing. So you're opening up the right shoulder towards the sky, twisting the chest to the right, and then you're dropping that right shoulder down. And again, twisting, opening up the chest towards the right, and then dropping the right shoulder down. Last time, see if you can twist the chest towards the sky, then take your right arm up to the sky, and we'll come up into your warrior two. Push down through the left heel, see if that hamstring can really help you there. Okay, flip the front palm, reach it forward, take it back, and breathe into your left side. Big circle, left hand down, big circle, right hand down, front foot to the back, find your plank. Now your vinyasa, if you wish. Elbows brush the rib cage. Cobra up dog. Take it up and back into your downward facing dog. Breath in, lift the hips up. And breath out, squeeze the heels down. Okay, guys, lower your knees just for a moment. So you get your toes tucked under, but you're coming up onto your knees. Yeah. Okay, you can stop anytime, rest anytime you want. But you're going to take your right hand behind you. Be brave now. Take it further back than you think. And then swing your right arm, left arm up and over your head to lift your hips up. So you have to take it back a little bit further than you think. You can always do it like we did it before. Sitting your bum back onto your heels, pop, popping your knees back down, and then coming back up onto the knees. Yeah, how did we survive that? All right, be brave. Don't think about it too much. Swing your left hand back, go further back than you think. Push down through your feet and swing your right arm up and over your head. Breathing into that space there. And then sitting your bum back onto your heels. And then coming back down, knees down. Yes. <laughs> and tuck your toes and sit back into your child's pose just for a moment. Tummy down, forehead down. Reach your arms out. Take stock. Where, how, are you, how are you doing? How is everything doing? Take one more breath. Oh, all right, then look forwards, come up onto all fours. And let's come back into your downward facing dog. You're going to walk your hands back towards your feet. And then slowly roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. We're continuing with our bouncing theme, you're going to slide your right foot forwards. Go as far forwards as you can. And then press your right heel down onto the mat. Yeah, that's it. Good. Now bend the left leg in. Have your, you can have your hands on your hips so that you, you um, keep them uh, level. That's the word. And then hinge from the hips. Go as far as you can feel the stretch of the right hamstring. And then you can pulse here. Lift your pulses into that right hamstring. You want the stretch. You want the sensations in the belly of the hamstring, so not behind the knee and not by the sit bone. 
Maybe now you could fold all the way over this right leg. Just see how long your spine can get as you fold forward. So you might be higher than me, you might be lower than me. Inhale, lift your chest up, come all the way back up, and now just stand onto that right leg. And we'll come back into warrior three, lifting the left leg up. Hold it there, breathe in. Good, as you breathe out, bring your left knee into your chest, come to standing on that right leg, hug the leg in. You can take your hands around that left knee and squeeze it up. Yeah, then hold the leg there and just take your arms out to the side. You're going to bend your right leg as you swing your left leg all the way around in a circle, trying to bring your left knee outside of your right ankle. You can rest the foot on the floor if you want, or try and hover it up. And then straighten through your right leg and bring that left leg all the way back in. Try it one more time. Nice, Katerina. Take it around to the side. And then see if you can hover your left shin off the floor. Doesn't matter if you rest the foot on the floor, it's fine. Power through the right leg and bring it all whoops, the way back. Good. Place your left foot down onto the mat. Good. Press your palms together, lift your arms up. And then exhale, fall and lift. Inhale, take a halfway lift. And then exhale, fold, draw yourself in. Like this, roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. Definitely feel like we need to do the other leg. So slide your left leg, uh, your left toes forwards. And then lower the left heel onto the mat. Yeah, hands are in your hips, keeping those hips level. Bend the right leg and then push the hips back. But try and find the natural curve of your spine. Yes, yeah, so how would it feel if it was if you were standing? Try and keep that same shape and then pulse. Pulse to where you feel the stretch through the belly of the hamstring. Not the uh, attachment points behind the knee or the sit bone. After that little bouncing, is it possible for you to fold over the leg a little bit more? But this is, you know, up to you. Where do you feel it? You might be higher than me, you might be lower than me. And now start to lift yourself all the way back up. All that strength and flexibility that you've created, stand onto the left leg, and then start to lift your right leg up into warrior three. So you want your back toes pointing down, your right toes pointing down, right hip in line with left, chest forwards. Hold it there, breathe in. Breathe out. Whoops, I'm down. Bring your right knee into your chest. And you can take your hands around your right knee, squeeze the knee up, up, up. Oh, this left leg is proving difficult. And then release the hands and then we draw a big circle with the right leg. We're trying to take the right knee outside of the left ankle. So notice how everything slows down and how we're balancing. Or maybe it's got a bit more hectic. Power through your left leg. Bring your right knee all the way back up. Try that again. Taking it around to the side. Big circle. That left leg's really working hard to keep you there. So your right foot can land on the floor. Shin can rest on the floor. Oops, see where you want to go. Power through the left leg. And then bring the right knee back up. Well done. Place the foot down onto the mat. Ooh, palms together. Lift the arms up. And then exhale and fold. Hinge from the hips. Inhale, lift the head, chest up. And then exhale, fold. Take the hands behind the calves. Draw yourself in. From here, release your hands. Lift the head, chest up. 
Just bend your knees, send your hips then towards your heels. Nice now, walk your hands forwards and just start to rock forwards and back. Well, oh, feels nice through the ankles, doesn't it? And then sit in the bum down onto the heels, uh, sorry, onto the, onto the mat. Open up your knees, palm, uh, soles the feet together. Inhale, lift the head, chest up, and then exhale, fold it forwards. And take a little rock, if that feels nice, of stillness. Walk both hands over towards the right side. Go as far over as you can. Now reach your left fingers um, over towards the right as you twist the chest towards the front. Push down through your right hand as you come all the way back to the center. And then take your left hand on the floor, on the left side, and reach your right arm up and over your head. Breathe into that uh, right side. Drop your chest towards the left knee, hand down towards the floor. And then walk your way, fingertips all the way back to the center of the mat. Reach the hands as far forwards as you can. Do that same thing now, but the other way. So walking the hands over to the left, reaching your right fingers towards the right side or left side. Pushing away, come all the way back up. And then taking your uh, right hand on the floor, reaching your left arm up and over your head. And then swinging all the way back to the front. So it's just a little circle, no big deal. Walking your way back up. This is my favorite now, bringing your knees up. Oh, it's my favorite of the moment anyway. Taking your hands behind you, Walking the feet forwards a little bit, cross your right ankle over the top of the left leg. Then maybe you can bring your left heel closer to your bum. Maybe you can bring your bum closer to your heel. Rock from side to side. Just see what feels good. Now your right foot is going to fall onto the left side and you're going to roll onto your left hip. So it's like you're going to stand down onto that right foot. Yeah. So now take your left, uh, right hand to the back of the back edge of the mat. You're probably off the mat, and left arm goes underneath your body towards the left side. Lay down onto your left arm, and then lay down onto your back. Swing your right arm up and over your head towards the right side. Try and keep your right foot where it is. Breathe in and breathe out. Now swing your right arm over your head in a semicircle and then roll onto your left shoulder. Use your right hand to lift yourself back up. That's it. Left hand supports you. Take your right arm up and over so you take it back where it came from and swing your legs back. Change legs. Right leg can have a little shake. Okay, so left ankle crossed over the right leg. So you can have your foot closer to your bum, or you can bring your bum closer to your foot, or you can stay with it wide, and then you can start to swing from side to side. Mm. Try not to expect the same from this side. Yeah, no, it's always gonna be different. Definitely different for me today on this side. So now you're gonna take your whole body over towards the right side, dropping your left foot on the floor, and then pushing your left hand over towards the right. Now reach the left fingers to the top of your mat and then swing your right arm underneath you towards the right, lay down onto your right shoulder, onto your back and swing your left arm over towards the left side. Um, and breathe into whatever you're feeling here. I can feel my left IT band. Which is where my little problem is today. Good. And then you're going to swing your left arm up and over your head. 
Roll onto your right shoulder. Use your left hand to bring yourself back up. Right hand and then left hand comes back to the left side and swing the legs all the way back. Are we okay? Nice. Take your left leg up to the sky and pop it down onto the mat. Well done. Good. Walk your hands forwards and then slowly lower down. Onto the back. We'll bring your heels into your bum. Feet flat onto the floor. Palms flat to the floor. Inhale. Exhale, push down to your feet and lift the hips up. We're going to hold them there and pulse those hips up. Yeah. So little pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, squeezing the hamstring, squeezing the glutes at the top. Two, and one. And then slowly lower the spine down. Now you can uh, repeat a bridge or you can come into your wheel. Palms flat on the floor, fingers towards the shoulders, breath in. As you breathe out, push down through both feet. Maybe you stay here in your bridge or come up into your wheel. You have done loads of back bending. Just make this be about stretching the front of your body. Chin to chest when you're ready to roll your way all the way back down. We'll hug the knees into the chest. Okay, taking it, squeeze the knees together, take your arms out into a crucifix position and then just let the knees fall to the right side, tap the floor and then bring the knees back into the chest. You take them over to the left side, so you're getting a nice massage on your lower back and then bring it back to the chest. Over to the right, use your core, squeeze the thighs into your chest. And then over to the left. And then bring it all the way back in. All right, so now let the knees fall to the right. Hold them there, right hand on the left leg. Take a moment, breathe into what you're feeling. And then bring the knees right back into the chest. And we'll let them fall to the other side. Breathing in, breathing in. Good, and then bringing the knees right back into the chest. Take both feet up to the sky. That's it, you can point and flex the feet and get give uh, circles with the feet. Now, just before you finish, pop your right foot flat onto the mat. And then take your left hand around your left, left, sorry, take your hands around your left calf. So try and flex the foot, draw the leg towards the head. If you have a strap, you can always put the strap over your toes, of your feet, over your foot. Draw the leg towards the head just before you finish, extending that right leg forwards if it feels good. You. you can also just take your left hand inside that left leg or maybe just to the left heel yeah so you know wherever you can reach and then just move the left leg towards the left side see what happens see where you get to you might already be feeling enough where you are Bringing the left leg back, you can re-bend the right leg and lower your left foot down onto the floor. And we'll take the right leg up to the sky. Yep, so with the le left leg bent, it's a little bit easier for the right leg. Interlace the fingers, take them around the calf. You can draw the leg in. It's just an option to straighten this left leg. If you want to keep it as it is, keep it as it is. You can also have the strap around the foot, but maybe you take your left hand to the um, inner left uh, calf, sorry, right hand to the right calf or to the right heel 
and then just let the leg open towards the right side. See where it feels okay to go. Breathing in and breathing out. Awesome. Okay, when you're ready, we're coming back. And re bend the left leg, shake out that right leg, put both feet flat onto the mat, soles of the feet together, knees open, Have, uh, give the hips a little bit of a lift, and then lower the spine down, arms up and over your head, relax your eyes, relax your face, notice how that feels. Take a big breath in all together through the nose. And then open your mouth, exhale, let it go. And again, breathing in. And open mouth, exhale, let it go. But last time, breathing in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Keep the legs as they are, or you can extend them to the corners of the mat, just for these last few moments of stillness. See if you can give yourself these few moments. So if you can, be here just for this next few <laughs> moments, then you could be, give yourself a little imaginary pat on the back while you're lying there. You know, if you got to this point and you're still here, then you can be proud of everything that you've achieved. Be proud that you got on your mat today. Start your day with a sense of pride in yourself. Content and happy that you've had this time to, to work on yourself, to be with yourself to nourish yourself. And if you've got a little bit more time today, you could stay here for a little bit longer or even just continue. Yeah, continue the practice if you wish. If you need to get moving and you can extend the legs out if the knees are still bent, then uh, start to wiggle your fingers or wiggle your toes. You could extend the arms above the head, full body stretch. There's definitely not a long enough shavasana, but if that's all you can muster today, roll over onto the right hand side into your fetal shape. And then keeping your eyes closed, Make your way up into a seated place. Palms together, thumbs into your chest bone. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. In gratitude to the practice and in gratitude to you guys for being here today. Namaste, have a lovely rest of the day. Right, take your time, guys. I hope that feels good. I hope it's woken up your body enough to get you through the rest of the day. Lovely to see you all. Have a great day, guys. Bye.